Hello everyone, this is Stani. So I'm going to do a general energy update for the Divine Masculine. Between this morning and now, July 11th, there has been a major shift and I know all of you feel it. There's a heavy energy going on, but then there's a excited energy, all right? So those that are spiritual like me, you're going to be able to tune into this energy. Just push through it because a lot of you are picking up from the Divine Masculine because you're really, if you watch my other video about the Divine Masculine regretting, they're really having a hard time. Now, shout outs to all my new subscribers, all my old subscribers, all my number one from day one subscribers. I love you all. And for those of you that always enjoy my little commentary, <laughs> well, I enjoy you. Now, this is a general reading. And for those of you, this message, if it's not resonating, then it's not for you. Okay, so don't try to make the message fit. This is for thousands of people. And for those of you that come to my page trying to tell me what to say and what to do, stay off my page okay because this is my channel and if i want to talk i'm going to talk don't come to my page and be rude because you're just going to get blocked all right so i'm going to get right into it i hope people are enjoying their summer you know it's been very hot um in the united states it's been a heat wave everywhere and those of you in louisiana Stay safe because of all the floods. Really horrible. Um, so many things with the earth. Okay. Not surprised. You know, with the earthquakes, the floods. For those of you that read the Bible, this is like the weather and everything going on it's actually in the bible all right so everyone has their own belief so i'm not really going to get into that but what i am going to get into is this little video so let's see how the divine masculine is feeling right now so my information is below with options if you want a personal reading My readings literally range from like only eleven dollars, so I make it affordable for everybody. I'm picking up a lot of divine femme have really been looking into themselves, which is great. Um, look at that. So you have the Herofin in reverse, I mean the Hanging Man in reverse, and then you literally have the Four of Wands, 11-11. And today is 7-11, July 11th, 11-11 day, major portals opening up. Now, you guys are just going to feel butterflies when I show you what's on the bottom of the deck sun card that is the best card to get this card has been coming out quite often in no matter what deck I use it's been coming out now there's going to be a rebirth with this situation so the divine masculine is thinking about this new beginning with the divine femme the divine masculine is thinking about this abundance coming in the Divine Masculine is thinking about fertility. A lot of Divine Masculine are fantasizing. Um, okay, so I just don't read the cards just alone. I use my gifts as a psychic medium. So what I'm picking up besides, you know, the Sun card, what I'm picking up is the Divine Masculine Chills is thinking about this baby 
you know, some of you are going to have a baby boy. But uh, the Divine Masculine is thinking about this pretty sunflower, which represents, you know, new beginnings and changes. And the Divine Masculine has been fantasizing with the Divine Femme, okay? The Divine Masculine is thinking about all kinds of ways to make sure that the Divine Femme is not going anywhere. So with this sun card, in comes this new beginning, happiness, you know, complete bliss, chill. So the Divine Masculine knows that they're not going to be happy without the Divine Femme. You know, they're really fantasizing with this little mystical unicorn. And the angel of happiness, I mean, it is what it is. It says it right there. So the Divine Masculine is going to come in and you're going to have this blissful new beginning, happiness. Many of you, you know, you're not even going to believe it until it happens. So, and that's fine because it's good not to like focus on things and let it go. So, with the hanging man in reverse, the Divine Masculine wants to come out of this inaction, this stagnant energy. If you watched my last video, this is like an extension to my last video I made talking about the Divine Masculine coming out of this no communication. So, the Divine Masculine is going to actually finally take action from pondering and thinking on what to do. There's going to be reunions, there's going to be celebrations, there's going to be major reconciliations coming, okay? And this is the energy right now in the Divine Masculine's headspace. You guys are going to have celebrations, and then I pick up, some of you are going to be planning weddings, like, right away. Like, once you guys come into union, I feel that you're going to want to just, you know, be completely committed to each other because the Divine Masculine is waking up now, okay? So, he wants this or she, depending on who has the masculine energy in your relationship. But the Divine Masculine wants this deep-rooted, stable relationship now, you know? The Divine Masculine wants to put roots down. All right, so that is what the Divine Masculine is thinking about. Let's see what else was going on with the Divine Masculine. So like I thought, major shifts. Yeah, because they literally are thinking about, yes, I want this. You know, they're not hesitating anymore. Wow. So with the page of wands, like I said, communication, passionate communication coming in. They're thinking about, like, how do I go about this? Like, I want a passionate new start. So some of you are going to get communication. I'm just going to say it. Some of you are going to get communication any minute, okay? Any day. This communication is coming in. Um, the Divine Masculine is wanting to communicate, you know? They don't want to be in the stagnation no more. They are moving away from this Five of Pentacles lost energy, okay? They're moving away from this isolation. If it was like this, then they would be moving towards it. But it came out like this. So this says that the Divine Masculine is wanting to take, again, fire energy, King of Wands, Page of Wands. The Divine Masculine wants to be persistent the Divine Masculine is not going to take no for an answer. Okay, this is the energy that the Divine Masculine is in right now. So, he was really having a minute, you know, a moment. It still is. And he's come to the conclusion that he needs to talk to the Divine Femme. So, the Divine Masculine is going to be very persistent and not let anything stop him or her. All right? So, the King of Wands energy is when someone is with the King of Wands energy, you go after what you want and nothing is coming in your way. So, the Divine Masculine is no longer letting anybody, you know, talk them out of it. Not listening to 
people, not listening to um, friends, family, you know, not listening to anyone. The King of Wands energy is once someone makes their mind up, which the Divine Masculine has, they go after it. So that is where the Divine Masculine's headspace is. You know, he's in this fiery, passionate energy. Some of you with this collective group for whom I this message is for are dealing with fire signs. Okay? Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, very fire, passionate. If you're not dealing with fire signs, that is the energy that the Divine Masculine is taking on. Because it's very strong. They're gaining confidence, like I said in my um, other video. So where is the Divine Masculine at right now? Wow, so he's putting himself first. He's loving himself first. He's putting what he wants or she wants first. Okay, they don't care anymore. They're going to do what they want to do. The Divine Masculine is feeling this pull, this attraction. The Divine Masculine is looking at the Divine Femme as someone very beautiful. And they are aware that this is a past life deeply connected, deeply rooted energy that they um, can't escape. They can't get away from it. They don't want to anymore either. They're tired of running. Okay. So they know that this pull is not going anywhere. And they're thinking about, like I said, they're thinking about intimacy with the divine femme. They're thinking about being in the arms of the divine femme. They're fantasizing. They're just, they're in love. Okay. They're in love. And it's funny, after that card was reconciliation, which came out the other day. So, yeah. Unions. Four wands energy. All right? Also, I have to say, um, I got a lot of emails. So, if you email me and it's not about booking a reading, I really don't have time to get back to everyone. I don't have time to like give free advice all the time. Sometimes I do, but I've been really busy lately, you know, being summer and all. So don't get offended, but I just, there's many of you and there's only one of me. So yeah, doesn't mean I don't appreciate you, but it's hard to like, get back to everybody because I'm doing personal readings, I'm doing, you know, generals for my channel, I work at another job, you know, and I try to have fun, so, yeah, so if I don't get back, you know, if you want personal time with me, please book a personal reading because I will schedule you and make sure I have that one-on-one -on -one time with you. Wow, so there's changes coming on, like I said. The Divine Masculine is cutting out whatever that was standing in the way. The Divine Masculine is wanting this stable, long-term commitment with the Divine Femme. The Divine Masculine is looking at the Divine Femme like they're the tree in their life. And they are wanting to give the divine fam communication answers knowledge the divine masculine is wanting this intimacy with you know the divine fam so the divine masculine is very focused as well on prosperity and calm and peace this is a peaceful resolution okay the divine masculine is in tune moon card okay i'm not surprised this is come out we're at like a half moon we're coming into a full moon july 16th okay so this full moon is going to be really intense and really intense for a lot of capricorns if you have capricorn in your chart all right um this is also going to be a lunar eclipse this month so major 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 planetary shifts going on, just pushing people and their feelings. 
The divine masculine is feeling like this is destined, this is written in the stars, this is fated, okay? And the divine masculine, again, with the sun card, okay? You can't make that up. The sun card in two different decks. The divine masculine is wanting this blissful new beginning with the divine femme. There will be this blissful new beginning. There will be this abundance, this happiness, this peace okay so beautiful faded connection the divine masculine is also thinking about the psychic powers so the divine masculine is really in tune with their psychic abilities um they're really honing in things some of the divine masculine are actually like into magic and acting like little warlocks trying to pull in and manifest the divine femme meanwhile they don't realize like they already have a divine femme, but whatever helps them is fine, you know. So, uh, big changes are coming when I said that it was 1555. Five, big changes. Communication sums it up. So, the divine masculine is going to be coming in quickly and fast, all right. And you're not going to see this coming, and the divine masculine is going to be riding past the karmics with the little snake okay the divine masculine no longer cares riding past these mountains obstacles for this happy blissful new beginning with their queen all right so i hope you enjoyed this reading bye